What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's video, we do have a lot of peculiar things to go over. We're getting very close to the bottom on most of the major cryptos, and a decision is pretty much up in the air, I'd say today or tomorrow here. We don't really have much more time left to decide on what's going on here. We're pretty much at the end, and that's what we have to go over in today's video, because very soon, as we have jumped the gun, as you know, I think once or twice by now, but very soon, a decision is going to have to be made for XRP and a lot of these major cryptos. We cannot just keep heading lower, and we cannot just keep trading sideways. You can see here on the channel, just over the past couple of days here, we've had a massive descending flag forming, a bull flag formation here forming on XRP. And we've had lots of sideways trading on lots of these major cryptocurrencies too. Lots of flatline sideways movement, which at some point is going to have to make a decision here as we cannot just keep floating sideways and we cannot just keep heading lower here. You can see on XRP straight up, a decision is going to have to be made. Now we have jumped the gun a few times and I'll talk more about that in, in a little bit here. But the fact is we've now managed to consolidate, consolidate all the way back down to bottom support here, retesting the moving average, which we expected. A decision is going to have to be made now. Are we going to be breaking downwards or are we going to be breaking upwards? That's key to figuring out what exactly is going on here. And I think we're not, we're pretty much up on time. I really don't think we're going to have much more time to figure this out here. This is it. I mean, this is the bottom here. So if not today, tomorrow, this week, the latest, we're going to have to make a decision on XRP, especially because today is the first, or maybe yesterday, but ideally the past two days have been really uh, the most recent times retesting this moving average. And now a decision is going to have to be made, not just for XRP, but for Ethereum as well, you, some guys might say, you know, might jump the gun here, but we're going to wait patiently here. You can see the consolidation downwards here, retesting support, but you can see we are still above this floor here. There is definitely a price floor here. Even though we broke through the moving average, there's still a floor that we are retesting. And the same thing applies with Bitcoin. Bitcoin as well is on its bottom, retesting its price floor here. So a decision is going to have to be made very, very, very soon. And I really don't think we can have much more of this downwards sideways movement here because it's just not going to continue to to play out this way as markets always do cryptocurrency cannot just keep heading lower and we cannot just keep trading sideways volatility is coming and the decision is going to have to be made but with that all being said definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe and let's dive into today's episode so before we dive into the technical analysis sometimes i, I feel like you guys might be interested in what exactly is going on with my day-to-day -day life as you guys know i am building a car but recently I've decided to challenge myself and do a three to potentially five day water fast, which means the only things that I can have is water, tea, seltzer, and potentially maybe like one cup of coffee, uh, you know, uh, plain black coffee a day and kind of test myself as there's a lot of profound health benefits that come along with this. But it's definitely interesting. This is now we're going on day two of my water fast. I started it yesterday. I went all day yesterday without eating, which was very strange and very weird. Today is day two of doing this. I have done the ketogenic diet in the past before, so I'm not entirely, um, you know, fresh and new to, or, or yeah, new to ketone and getting yourself into ketosis, but going on not eating at all is definitely weird. So I want to know if you guys have ever fasted before doing a water fast. Have you done a couple of days? Have you done fasting at all? Let me know. Uh, I Today, I started to supplement mineral water into my diet because it's Florida and it gets hot, so I don't want to start cramping up and stuff, but um, it's definitely weird. I definitely feel slightly different than how I normally feel. Um, potentially, I don't know, just a little, it's just, I can tell I'm a little more in touch with my body and things are a little bit interesting, but my, I'm still happy. I'm still pushing. And I just wanted to keep you guys updated on what exactly is happening with me. Uh, but let me know if you've ever done this before, uh, or your experiences negative or good down in the comments below. I'd love to read them, but I appreciate that. Now, uh, back to the tactical analysis here. So as you guys know, we've been tracking this kind of sideways movement for weeks now, honestly, just sideways movements here and this kind of, uh, bull flag formation here. Now, what's interesting is looking at the major cryptocurrencies here, you can see for majority of this week, we've or majority of the past, I'd say six days now, five to six days, 
We've just been floating, cruising, trading sideways, doing absolutely nothing uh, but waiting patiently here. There's literally been no possible trades to really be made here. We, we could have jumped the gun as we have in the past year. And again, the markets have just been floating sideways, so we're not really down anything. But we've just been trading sideways, literally with zero volatility. And as we know, when volatility ends, that's usually a sign of big movements because volatility is a key essential to cryptocurrency. Without volatility, it's kind of odd. It's a common thing we see here constantly. But with XRP right now, notice flatlined out, only recently starting to dip. Same thing with Ethereum and Bitcoin here. And that's kind of what we need to talk about. Now with XRP, you can see we're inside a massive bull flag formation here, one that's been forming for quite some time on XRP. Very long and drawn out since the breakup, which was in July, uh, July 13th here. It's been a little over a month now of just consolidating down back down a moving average as expected here typically like i say bouncing a basketball we do see big swings originally when we slam that or we see big volume movements but we're consolidating back down a moving average which is healthy here and we formed some sort of descending fractal and you can see here finally we're starting to retest that moving average. So a decision is going to have to be made very, very, very soon. As you guys know, trading sideways here isn't too bad. We did jump the gun ever so slightly right here. But the fact is that we are bouncing off support. We are retesting support. Uh, we thought, hey, maybe we would break out of this earlier. And it seems like that's not really what happened. We're back down to support here. But I'd really like to see where this market moves to. I truly think this is it, and this is the end for XRP, and now it's decision time. And ideally, I would think I'm more bearish. I'm sorry, I'm more bullish on the markets here. I would theoretically think we're, we're due for a break up than we are a break down. So I am betting on that to happen here. Obviously, it is a gamble, but I am certain we are going to see this reversal. So it's a little bit tougher because, you know, the way this market's moving, like I could move this up like this. It doesn't look as accurate as we had it before. So I'm going to leave it alone. But ideally, I'd like to see how this plays out over the next uh, couple of hours, if not day or two here. And ideally, if we can break above, maybe get up a little bit, see some distance here, then I would be going in for uh, another trade on uh, on XRP here. But obviously, we do all of our cryptocurrency trades on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. BidFi lets me buy long, sell short leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits, everything you can possibly think of is offered on BidFi, which is why I highly recommend you guys check out BidFi down in the comments uh, description below. It's completely free to sign up and you're actually missing out on huge opportunities if you don't. They offer a welcome bonus of up to $2,888 completely free by signing up with that, descript that link in the description below. You can see right here, which is super cool. Beyond that though, what I really like about BidFi is the fact that they offer a simulator account, which not many people you know, are familiar with. But for those that want to test your skills, want to get familiar with this platform, want to learn how to trade, or want to see if you're even good, you can use a demo account here because it gives you $100,000 in Monopoly money to test your skill. Get familiar with the platform or test the trades that I do on here, and you can pretty much do what you want. If you're ready and you don't want to use a demo, you switch to the live and you can use real, real cryptocurrency to test your skills. But literally, when this breaks, which it will, I'm going to be buying long on XRP here and leveraging to the upside here. Same thing with these other cryptos, which I'd like to talk to you guys about now. So beyond XRP, looking at Ethereum and Bitcoin here, you can see for the most part here, Ethereum is back down and retesting its support. And there's definitely a horizontal line that can be drawn here. You can see for the most part that we are at a bottom here. Yes, we've managed to consolidate and kind of get intertwined within this moving average. But even though we did see a bit of a drop here, we're still being held on by support. I think that's going to continue to scale itself. But if we could start to head upwards here, we might have that opportunity to buy in long. Otherwise, we'll short it uh, if the markets decide to dip. If we dip through here, close below here, it's a short. If we dip through here, it's a short, as you guys know. I mean, it's pretty common. Same thing with Bitcoin. We dip below here, it's a short. But that's pretty much where we're at. We've seen tons of consolidation. XRP is back down to literally 38 on the RSI, so plenty of room to the upside here. Uh, you can see Ethereum's at 41 on the RSI, plenty of room to the upside. And same thing with Bitcoin at 44, 45 on the RSI, plenty of room to swing to the upside here. So that's what we're patiently waiting for. Big volume is coming to these markets, whether you like it or not. So you have to be patient because the next day or two, as we've been patiently waiting here, uh, we are going to see that break. I know you guys are annoyed. I've been talking about it for so long, but this is it. Look, literally nothing has been happening here. We've been waiting for the key to break. As I've said constantly here, we break through the price ceiling 
at 29.8, we buy in long. If we break through the price floor, we buy in for a short. But as you guys have seen, literally since I'd say July 24th here or in August, we've literally just been teeter-tottering inside of here. So until we break through that, we're just sitting ducks at this point. I know it's annoying, but you just have to bear with. As for the S&P, I mean, I'm happy that we're heading lower. It was anticipated and expected, and I think we're still due to head lower. So we could pull the cryptos down with it, but I don't know for sure. Um, you know, there's two things, like I said, that can happen here. It's either this or it's either this. I don't know which of the two is going to take place, but they're both bullish inevitably here. So you can either, you know, dollar cost average and get in here and in here, or just take the leap of faith and wait to the bottom. But ideally, we're bullish nonetheless, but the consolidation is healthy. And I think the S&P wants to head, and I think it's necessary for it to head to here. And then we can see that little bounce to the upside. But that's pretty much it for today's video. With that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace. <laughs>